Hey there guys and welcome back or welcome to ESP Daniela, your ultimate resource for education, scholarships, and professional development. I'm Daniela and today we're diving into a topic that often poses a challenge for many, which is how to get an internship with no prior work experience. Now I know for many people landing that first internship can be intimidating, but fear not, I'm here to guide you through the process and help you crack the code. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me on Instagram and TikTok for daily tips and techniques. Anywho, let's get started. let's say that you don't have extensive work experience. Well, your coursework and class projects become valuable assets just for this. So take advantage of the knowledge and skills you've gained through your academic pursuits. And this is what I did. So when I was applying for certain internships or even scholarships, there was always a section on the application that would ask, please mention your previous relevant work experience. However, at the time, I initially did not have any official paid work experience only for my class. So in that section, I would just mention what I did in my classes, but make it sound as if what I did was through a paid job. So guys, make sure to highlight relevant coursework that demonstrates your understanding of concepts in your industry and certain techniques, and additionally showcase any projects or assignments that showcase your ability to apply theoretical knowledge to real world scenarios. And with that being said, feel free to head to my bio description down below for multiple free toolkits relating to scholarships, internships, and student success overall. I have various guideline sheets and templates in there, as well as the option to bundle in at the end my student resume template and scholarship strategy book but moving forward here the next tip i have for you guys is to build a strong personal brand especially if you're going into a highly competitive job market so consider starting by establishing a professional online presence through social media platforms like linkedin instagram and so forth and optimize your profile by highlighting your educational background skills and relevant coursework or projects additionally consider creating a personal website or work portfolio to showcase your work projects and achievements see many people do not have a strong online presence so when you're going in for job interviews and so forth, that can really make you stand out a lot more. It basically shows that you are a thought leader and that many people are willing to gravitate towards how you communicate certain information. So next up we have is to seize opportunities through networking. And if you didn't already know, most jobs are actually landed through networking rather than going online for a job application. So guys, I encourage you to attend career fairs, industry events like conferences, and join professional organizations relating to your field of interest and engage engage in conversations, ask questions, and connect with professionals who can offer guidance on potential internship opportunities and so forth, such as recruiting officers. Another way to potentially get an internship is via volunteering and starting your own side projects. So take the time to seek out volunteer opportunities, whether that's online or via asking someone in person, as well as consider creating your own volunteer opportunity or your own project. See, not only will these experiences allow you to gain practical skills, but also demonstrate your passion dedication and willingness to take the initiative now let's talk about the power of transferable skills so when it comes to internships having no prior experience doesn't necessarily mean that you have nothing to offer so this is where you will enter your transferable skills now these are skills that you have acquired through various activities such as volunteering part-time jobs or even class projects so before you apply for an internship or job take the time to identify the skills that align with what you're applying to and see how you can best optimize with showcasing your skills another tip is to seek out small or local companies to internship with. See, many people make the mistake of only applying for internships that are from really big companies. Well, those big companies more than likely are mainly prioritizing applicants that have a lot of industry experience, right? So guys, please do not overlook the opportunities available at smaller local companies. And these organizations often provide internships that are more accessible to students with limited experience. Also, by interning at a smaller company, you may just see your Yourself, gaining valuable hands-on experience more so in comparison to being at a bigger company and they might even give you more legroom to try out different aspects of their business just to test out what really resonates with you as far as a career so if you're looking for lower competition internships definitely check out those small businesses and those small organizations also there's this resource that many people in fact do not even know exists so it's called parkerdewey.com and they specialize in what are called micro internships and they really prioritize 
prioritize applicants who might not already have initial internship or job experience. So I highly, highly recommend that you check them out. And if you're wondering what a micro internship is, it's basically like a condensed version in comparison to a long-term internship. Now I know that on this channel, I mainly focus on scholarships and other forms of financial aid, but I personally have had multiple internships, all of which were all expenses paid by the way. And a lot of the techniques that I implemented for my scholarship applications also helped with getting those internships. And the same can be said for a lot of the students I have mentored over the years of where not only were they winning scholarships, but some even got internships such as the scholarship slash internship from Amazon Future Engineer. I had several students win that by the way. And then a student in my program, he won the Taco Bell scholarship in addition to an internship within his industry. So basically when it comes to competitive applications, I, not to brag here, I'm pretty good at it, not only for myself, but more importantly to help others as well. And that's a wrap on our discussion about landing internships. Anywho, let me know if this video was helpful by commenting down below. And also don't forget the free resources that are all linked in my description box down below, such as those toolkits, as well as various free trainings relating to financial aid. And while you're at it, feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Finally, feel free to share this video with someone else who you think it could benefit. Anywho, bye.